All right, so what we have here is manufactured June 2021 uh, Toyota Camry. And I just thought, um, poor mother-in-law got in an accident in her forerunner. Wasn't her fault. Another person ran a red light and she got this as a rental. And uh, I just test drove it. <laughs> it drives really, really nice. Look at the color and the styling. I think about the 90s and 2000s Camrys and how completely generic that they are. And then I, I jump into this thing and I'm like, man, wow. And uh, I've made an imprint on, uh, on my in-laws because that's my father-in-law's truck. <laughs> and that's my brother-in-law's car. But um, anyway, so yeah, what we got here, like I said, manufactured date June 2021. I don't know for sure when the cutoff is, but I'm going to guess that's a 2022 Toyota Camry. And it's a rental, so it's not going to be the most illustrious model, I wouldn't guess. Um, but just the size of it and the, just look, we'll, we'll, we'll pop, in, pop in here and just kind of look here. But, I mean, look at the styling, the seat. Look how well these are just put together just the interior in general um you know i know scotty has he gives some crap to this if you watch any of his videos about screens that come up but it really doesn't come up too high obviously no sunroof like i said it's not gonna be the most loaded model so much space and she's got stuff back here but this is just a beautiful car look and it just looks you think about aerodynamics it just looks sporty um and it's just, you just think about how far uh, Toyotas have come. And uh, you guys are gonna love this. We'll go on a test drive here. Um, we got, <clears throat> look at this. Talking about a 2022. Boom, key baby. Has a key, tried and true. Not gonna have a problem with anything with that. So, you know, I'll put my seatbelt on right quick. Don't mind me here. It's got a nice, uh, you know, screen. Um, nice big screen, really. Just, it's so comfortable. There's so much space. I'm a big guy. And I, my, the seat is not all the way back. Look at all this space. There, I'll zoom back. There we go. Look at all this space, though. Like, I'm just, it's so comfortable. And I just love, even how the dash, leather stitch, integrated. It's just... It's so just beautiful car. Anyway, you you got a nice backup camera. Um, not the biggest, craziest thing, but plenty. I mean, more than enough for a car like this. Um, just making sure nobody's around me. Um, we'll go on a little test drive here. And well, we'll just uh, kind of stomp on it right now and just kind of see what she does. It has paddle shifters. You know what? Yeah. We'll do paddle shifting. Let's go. Peeled out a little. Boy, that's fun, huh? I mean, you got to think, this is just a Camry. <laughs> I popped that. It's got a 2.5 four-cylinder. Um, and, you know, just, I think it's such a good... Oh, look at that! Look at that right there. Can't get, look, there's an old camera. That's the one I was talking about. Look, you got a car like that. And then you think about where technology has come and you know, what I'm driving here. It's just, it's a beautiful car. It's so slick. Got sit back so you can get a good eyes view here. And I won't go on any like length of a test drive, but uh, man, this thing's just, so and it just hugs the road as you corner oh man so nice yeah it's, let's i'm just be quiet just for a second you hear that how you know, quiet this ride so comfortable now obviously it's somewhat of a brand new vehicle and i i have older vehicles but i've been an advocate for toyota some of the newest stuff i'm not I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not completely on board with, with, you know, putting turboed four cylinders into the Tacomas coming and putting the turboed V6 into their big bad Tundras, you know, I, I don't think, and obviously everybody's going to the, going that route, um, pretty much every manufacturer and certainly Toyota and Honda are probably going to be the best, um, typically they are, but 
I personally would rather buy a 2022 Tundra or 2021, which I think it was the 22s that was the last year of the 5.7, but whatever's the last year of the 5.7 iForce, just tried and true, you know, normally aspirated, no turbo BS. Um, it's just not, it's not worth it. And the gas mileage, EPA crap, it's all not nonsense, okay? Um, it's just not, it's not. You know, these turboed cars, you get into them at all, and guess what they do? They suck down the gas. They, they just, So, I mean, it's all relative. It's all relative. It's just, it's silly to me to just make a smaller engine and pound, pound more effort out of it. I think that when you talk about reliability, obviously that's going to be compromised. Um, but yeah, I'm just coming, when essentially went around the block... Bam. Man, lots of pickup in this thing. Boy, is it fun. Man, so <clears throat> I, you know, this is a lot newer, so I personally have a, a 2000 Toyota Sienna, which is just a big Camry, you know. Uh, you know, it's got the V6 Camry engine, and, you know, I think it's built on like an Avalon, you know, kind of design, but it's just a minivan. And I love my minivan. There's 170. 677,000 miles on it runs like a complete dream but man you're gonna go new ah oh, man just i think the only way to go is gonna be toyota it just is um man i know honda's i think a strong second place but um this thing is just man it's nice it doesn't shake um and obviously i've been driving it hard uh for fun and my mother-in-law did too. She's like, it's so zippy. She's zipping around everywhere. And it'll obviously get a lot better than 20 miles per gallon. Um, but let's, uh, let's pop out here. And uh, we'll pop the hood. And get a look at the engine. While it's running. Look at that. That is just, man, what a, what a, what a, what a great sounding engine. Just purring away. It's so beautiful. It really is. I already know that this engine's going to last forever. But again, I mean, think of where the Camrys, we just passed that old one, where they were to where they are now. Look at the styling. God, this just flows smooth. That is a gorgeous car. A base model Camry. Literally feels <laughs> like a sport car. That thing is fun. It is a fun, fun car to drive. Now, obviously, I have a bunch of kids, and it's not ideal for me to have a sedan when I have a family seven. But what a beautiful, beautiful, fun experience. And again, Toyota, even though I, there's some things I disagree with with their newest vehicles, they still get a ton right, man. That is a sweet, sweet, sweet car. Anyway, I just thought it would be fun to uh, give a review. Um, I, I think uh, just 10 out of 10 experience for, you know, a base model newer car. Um, I've driven several and uh, this thing's just a lot of fun. It's a hoot to drive. So if anyone wants to buy one of these cars, I do not think it's a bad idea. Sorry for the wind noise. I think that you'll be extremely happy and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So uh, I hope everyone, like I say in every video, hope you have ever, everyone has a great day and uh, appreciate it. Um, and yeah, Toyota's still doing lots of things right, guys.